So, um, when I was little, I, I went camping once with my Girl Scouts. It was exciting, but it really, really wasn't really like camping. My dad was hunting, and so we took these little horses up into the mountains, and they had this big setup for the hunters. And we, we got to ride on the little ponies. It was very extensive. But um, one of my boyfriends that I dated, and we were good friends, and we liked each other a lot, uh, Kent was in leukemia treatment and um, we used to ride bicycles and he went to REI a lot he made good money he was a good computer guy and um, he didn't do much for charity I don't think but that that's neither here nor there he had kids he had a couple kids and he would jump out of airplanes he was big excitement kind of thing and but um I would go to the REI store with him, and I couldn't afford anything there, but he could. And so one day he said, I'm going to take you camping. And he had a car, and, and so, a nice car. And I said, okay, let's do it. So I went to Costco, and we got these lamb, some nice little lamb fillets. And I had charm. I didn't have Belle yet. And uh, he just pulled over in the mountains. I don't know where. He took me about an hour, two hours away. And he pulled over and he said, let's go. And I had a pack and he had a pack and he had a water purifier and we had our food. And we just walked up the mountain and we got to the top. He said, well, this is it. This is where we'll stay. And um, it was a nice hike and I was in really good shape. In fact, I could, I could beat him. He, he was like, you're in really good shape. But I walked a lot. And um, so we had a fire and we cooked some meat and I don't know if we had alcohol, I can't remember. But, um, so we set up the little tent and Charm ate the leftover lamb. And it was just a real experience of camping that I'd never had. Just kind of like out on your own. You just go up and you put a tent out and you camp. And um, he had all the ability to buy what was necessary. I guess we had a pad to sleep on and maybe a sleeping bag that was real small that we packed and everything like that. And um, when I think of it and the experience and how it stayed with me, you know, I do a lot of stuff that doesn't stay with me. And I think of all these little boys and girls that live in project housing. I think of how beneficial something like that would be for them to, do, to, to change a perspective of, oh, I didn't even know this existed. And um, especially, you know, well, I was a girl and it, it affected me. I wouldn't do it by myself. I'm just not that secure, but I'm sure there's girls that do. But, uh, you know, we want to keep these kids growing and changing and their minds learning and trying new things. So you could, I would do an after school camping excursion and um, get these men that know how to do these things, get them to take these kids up and do that. And also, the little boys tend to want to learn how to fish, and if they don't have a dad, there's no one there to teach them. I have talked to African-American boys, and I said, who, who taught you to fish? And they said, my dad. So we need the people that can volunteer to, to also show these kids how to do that. It's, it's, it's difficult times in those areas of town, and um, we need volunteers and people that do that. Thank you.